Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am your host Tom Downey. Let's take a look at another contract extension projection here on the Cowboys Report. This time around, Amari Cooper. We did Demarcus Lawrence, we were almost dead on. We've done Dak Prescott, we'll see how the results go there. But for Amari Cooper, look, the Cowboys in his camp have discussed the deal. This might be easier to do than Dak Prescott, but the, re the reports are those two sides in terms of Cooper and the Cowboys are a little bit farther apart. Either way, I think this deal gets done before the season starts. Now, the biggest surprise to me as of late on social media around the Cowboys is that, oh, Amari Cooper's not worth that much money, and I'm kind of like, wait a minute, what? A, we know the Cowboys love them. They gave a first-round pick for him. Let's not pretend that Cooper wasn't really good this past year for the Cowboys. When he came in, the offense totally changed. And quite frankly, Cooper's been really good over the past four years. Yeah, there's been some ups and some downs and some drop issues. You typically don't find players that have over 1,000 yards receiving in three of their first four years. Those guys are few and far between. And once Cooper came over to Dallas, the offense totally changed. The passing attack opened up a little bit more. And in just nine games with the Cowboys, Cooper had 53 catches for 700-plus yards and six touchdowns. And in reality, they probably could have featured him a little bit more. So I am a little bit surprised at the reaction that Cooper isn't worth a lot of money. So I'll ask you this now, and then we'll come back to it as well at the end of the show. How much is Amari Cooper worth per year? Let me know in the comments section, and we're going to get to the actual numbers here, but spoiler alert, it's going to be a lot. That's the asking price for number one receivers, which I think Amari Cooper is. I think many of you think Amari Cooper is a number one wide receiver. So here are the highest paid receivers in the NFL. We'll go per year, and then we'll go guaranteed monies too. Odell Beckham, $18 million is the new banner. Then Antonio Brown, $16.7. Mike Evans, Brandon Cooks, Hopkins, all $16.5 to $16.2. Adam Thielen, Sammy Watkins. Make note of Sammy Watkins, by the way, at $16 million. Now, in terms of guaranteed, it does fluctuate based on how many years you signed for. Odell gets 65, Mike Evans gets 55, then a bit of a drop-off to Cooks and so on, and Antonio Brown, 30 million guaranteed. That's flexible based on the number of years, but it's going to come in around 50 to 60%, maybe even 65% guaranteed for most starting caliber receivers. Now, as we mentioned about Demarcus Lawrence and Dak Prescott, a lot of this is based on the salary cap. And over the past five years, the salary cap has pretty much gone up by about $10 million per year each year. You can bank on the cap really approaching almost $200 million in 2020. So remember, these deals do not all get signed with the same salary cap. And that's very, very evident, by the way, with the highest paid NFL receivers based on percentage of the cap. A.J. Green... Almost 10.5%. Odell Beckham, 10.6%. A.J. Green and Julio are not among the top five highest paid receivers, but when those deals were signed, they were indeed among the top five. In fact, they still have the highest percentage of the cap. So maybe Amari Cooper does not get that level of, of, of impact and that level of cap hit, but it's going to be very expensive for NFL players or, or for, uh, for, for a receiver. So keep that percentage of the salary cap in mind for the Dallas Cowboys. It's not going to quite be 10, but you're sitting and looking at, well, maybe he can get 9.3. Maybe he can get 9.7, 9.5. But I don't think it's going to quite at that 10.5%. But again, I'll keep hammering that point home. Percentage of the cap is going to be a, a key impact there for the Cowboys and for receivers as well. So just keep that in mind when you see A.J. Green Julio not in the top five highest paid, but the most recent receiver often ends up being the highest paid player. Maybe not overall, but in that top two, in that top three range. So that 9% graphic, that's going to be a key po portion there for the Dallas Cowboys. So let's take a look then at some comparable contracts for Amari Cooper. The first one, and this is your baseline, folks. Sammy Watkins, a three-year, $48 million deal, which, by the way, the Cowboys tried to sign. They tried to sign Sammy. That's $16 million per year, and I think most of us are in agreement here. Amari Cooper is better than Sammy Watkins. More targets, more receptions, more yards, same touchdowns, and partially that's on the quarterback, too. Not quite the same yards per catch, but Watkins is always hurt. 
So I ask you this question, a question the Cowboys tried to answer as Sammy Watkins earlier last offseason. Who would you rather have at wide receiver? Type W for Watkins, type C for Cooper. I think we all agree it's Amari, or at least 90% of us, which is we're going to get to any type of unanimous decision in today's sports climate. So if that's your baseline there, isn't Cooper going to ask for more? How about Adam Thielen, who signed his deal this year? And frankly, I think this deal only helps the Cowboys. Four years, $64.2 million. That's a little over $16.05 million per year. Decent amount of it guaranteed. Only 8.5% of the cap. And Thielen's really emerged over the past two years. And if you're Cooper, you're probably actually going to ask for a little bit more than Adam Thielen. Not because you're a vastly better player per se, but because you hold a lot more leverage than Thielen did with the Minnesota Vikings. How about Brandon Cooks? Back in 2018, a five-year $81 million deal, about $6.2 million per year, little over 61% of that guaranteed, took up about 9.14% of the cap. So that's a key thing there for, for the Cowboys and Cooks. Now remember, that deal was signed way back when. Now as it relates between Brandon Cooks and Amari Cooper, again, the numbers do have some similarities here in terms of the way those two have played in the past couple of years. Similar receptions, similar yards, similar touchdowns, similar yards per catches. Like Those players look a lot. So remember, that's $16.2 million per year and most importantly, 9.14% of the cap. Then there's DeAndre Hopkins who signed the same deal as Brandon Cooks, but... This came a full year earlier, so the percentage of the cap is actually 9.7. Now, I don't think Cooper's going to get 9.7% of the cap like, like Hopkins did because Hopkins is perhaps the best receiver in the NFL. Touchdowns aren't quite as good, but we know how good Nuke is. So, I mean, i trade Cooper for Hopkins in a heartbeat, but I don't think that's the way the Cowboys are going to approach it, nor should they, quite frankly. So let's get to Mike Evans then. Here are his, his numbers, his raw numbers. Again, it, it favors Mike Evans by, a, I'd say, a pretty significant margin. Now, remember, Evans' contract as well, a five-year $8.25 million, which for a while made him the highest-paid player among receivers in the NFL. That's pretty noteworthy. And then the current gold standard, Odell Beckham. Uh, make note, I'm not even bothering with Antonio Brown. That's such a weird situation that I don't think it's fair to try and compare Antonio Brown, who demanded a trade out of Pittsburgh, nerfed his own trade value, and then signed a new deal. So I, I didn't want to even really approach that one as a fit. So here are the possible per-year numbers based on percentage of the cap. Remember, remember that 9.03 number that Watkins signed for? Well, that puts you around $17 million. If you want to settle at 16, you're taking less based on the percentage of cap that other guys have signed. That's important if you're Amari Cooper. Yeah, of course, it's all about the raw numbers, but any good NFL agent, and guess what? I do kind of think Amari Cooper's agent is pretty damn good, is going to make that a big deal for the Cowboys. So here's my projection for Amari Cooper. A five-year, $85 million deal. That's $17 million per year. And I know that makes Cooper the second highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. But guess what happens in two to three years? Mike Evans gets a new deal. Hopkins gets a new deal. Cooks gets a new deal. Julio, A.J. Green, all those receivers get a new deal. All of a sudden, Cooper is no longer top five, might barely be top ten in the NFL. That's about $54 million guaranteed, so about 63%. And it ends up being 9.03% of the cap, almost identical to the Sammy Watkins contract just adjusted for inflation. So I ask you guys again one more time. We mentioned it earlier in the show. I'll ask you again now after my projection. How much is Amari Cooper worth per year? And I'll make note too, Cooper and his agent are going to go, hey, your offense was garbage before I arrived. Yeah, you trusted and traded for me. You already gave him a first round pick. Do you want to have me walk? So I'm not going to sign a below market deal. So Cooper has quite a bit of leverage right now against the Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be expensive, but I'm surprised if we don't want to pay Cooper 16 or 17 million. We need a number one receiver. Cooper is that guy. So for me, 17 million, I got no problem paying it. But let me know in the comment section if you guys disagree. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, 
click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.